Yeah. New panelized lighting system. Yeah. Uh, we've got a panel, you know, panel here with nothing wired up, so I, or nothing live, anyways, so I can touch things. But uh, we've got several different module types in here. We've got a dimmer, eight-channel dimmer module, does both forward and reverse phase dimming. Uh, can automatically detect the load type and determine whether it should use forward or should use reverse. Uh, so you can do MLV loads, you can do ELV loads, you can do LEDs. LEDs you may want to try and manually both put it into forward and reverse phase, see which works better. It's hard to tell with LEDs. Uh, two 20 amp feeds into it, uh, up to 220. It can be one um, circuit feed as well in there. Uh, Composer does all the calculations for you in terms of the wattage that can be driven based on how many amps you've got feeding in, whether it's one or two circuits, etc. Next module is a relay module. There's again eight load legs here, uh, eight relays for on off control. Big beefy relays can handle a lot of inrush current, so you can do, you know, if, if need be, big banks of fluorescence or a, a fountain pump or something that's going to, you know, really have a lot of inrush current. Four line feeds on this, uh, or up to four line feeds, and um, again, you know, up to really up to 16 amps continuous on any one of those relays. Next module is a zero to 10 volt control module for zero to 10 volt fluorescence and LEDs. Um, seeing a lot more zero to 10 volt LEDs. Uh, you've got, on this one really just, you've got your line in uh, and then you've got all of your 0 to 10 volt control on the, the low voltage side over here. This is just another dimmer module. At the bottom is a Ethernet switch. Nothing really fancy about the Ethernet switch. It's just, um, a night, you know, uh, it's the form factor, fits in the cabinet. It makes, it makes it easy to wire things up. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. All the modules are 110 all the way up to 277 volts. Okay, I, I never remember. Um, but and actually, so when you in Composer again, when you when you add stuff and you put in the you'll put in the voltage for the modules, and it then calculates everything in terms of what that translates to in the number of watts okay. you can drive. Cool. Uh, you've got access once the panel's installed. You've actually got access to buttons and LEDs on the front of it, so I can control individual lights from here. I can also wire in an auxiliary switch um, that wires up to the module. Stick that. It's just you know standard toggle switch, stick it in a closet somewhere, and if for some reason the control system goes down, you know, I'm having a problem, walk into that closet, flip the switch, the lights turn on. But in that situation, this would still work? This also would still work. Then I can go up and I can, you know, hit, the, hit buttons here to, to have more fine control over individual lights. Got it. Awesome.